Welcome to Soft Review. In this video, I am going to show you how Rucode fixed the memory issue. Now we don't have any excuse not to use Rucode. I was using client till now, but with this feature update, it's really hard for me to ignore Rucode moving forward. Just want to show you guys how it fixed the memory. And yeah, it's easy to set up if you are like a vibe coder like me. If you are not into coding that much, then this is definitely going to help you and also reduce the cost as well most of the time i use gemini 2.5 pro because that has got 1 million on window and uh, i was reluctant to actually use like smaller models like the new newly released uh, kimi 2 because uh, the context window is not that high right it's under 200k context limit this new update is really good because it solves that issue by introducing this feature called indexing what it does is index your whole code first so it will have that idea it will transfer all your code base into a database and we use the selected model you can use from openai olama or any other openai compatible models that uses their embedding model to get or fetch that relevant data from the data store that it created and you can use Gemini's free API key. I am using like a Gemini's free API key from AI Studio. And then you just need to come here and just click on this button, click get an API key and just click on create an API key and you will be able to use that API key. And you can come here and paste it over here. Then you can select from different embedding models. Here there are two models. Since Gemini is free, I am using this. And this is the highest quality models means it, it has got more information on your code base. If the number increases, then that means there are like more information on your code base. So uh, select the one that you like. And the new introduction to this is the quadrant URL. It's easy to get create like a quadrant URL and get the API key. This is also free. So in order to get that, let me show you. Probably you'll see a URL here. Since I already set up, let me just search for it on Google. Let's go to like Quadrant here. So this is the website Quadrant Vector Database. So as you can see, if we go to the pricing, see you have a free account and you get more than enough for your project. So just come here, login. As you can see, I have my cluster here. If you are new to this, you will not see this. You just need to click on create then give the cluster a name and select the version and just click on create so it's really easy once you have the cluster i think since i am on a free account i can only have one that's why i'm unable to see it once you create this it will look like this and once this is created if you go to if you go and click on details uh, see you will get like a cluster id and the endpoint this is what you need to copy here you need to copy this url from here and come and paste it here in the quadrant url then use the quadrant api key which is once you create this cluster it's really easy you only have to give like a name then all of this will be created so it's not that really hard so you can you will see the api key once it's generated as you can see once you create the api key you will not be able to see that again see you won't be able to see the api key so when you create it for the first time just copy paste somewhere safe so that otherwise you'll have to create a new api key again copy that and come again here and as you can see paste the your quadrant api key here these are some of the search metrics that you if you want you can play with this and adjust it if you are not getting the quality of the retrieval that you want then always make sure that this is enabled yeah if you see the red color that means the indexing was not successful uh, if you see this message like uh, the error failed during the initial scan and a uh, resource has been exhausted and this is directly from google yeah if you go to the pricing as you can see the gemini embedding model pricing is very cheap for 1 million token it's only like 0.15 cents so if you use this you need to go to their vertex and get like a paid api and upgrade so that you can just use this embedding model and you can still use the free tire if you want with the other api key yeah that can be like an option because it's really cheap since we 
need to communicate with this embedding model a lot i would definitely recommend using a paid api key uh, otherwise the, your resource will exhaust really fast so i have opened like a code base here which i was working on so let me show you the difference here i am now disabling this just click on save and in order to show you so as you can see the color change it's grayed out that means the indexing is not working right now i just in order to show you how this works let me ask like a question about this code base this is the code base that i am having and i'll just show you what's the difference here with the vector database enabled and with the, this one disabled so what is this code all about this is the normal way of using it right so i just ask it see it's reading out the files as you can see it's reading the default files all these files it's going through the files that's how it understand the project right yes. so after going through the main files it now got like a symbol understanding of how this works so i am just cancelling it so this was just to show you the normal working right so i am again going to click on a new chat here and what you need to do is click on enable indexing and just click on save and this will and just click on start the indexing process as you can see now the color changed to a, an orange color and as you can see it found this many code blocks in my current code base and it's indexing all those code blocks so that it can retrieve when we ask a query related to that and feed that information along with our query so that the context is much better and the AI will correctly understand what our requirement or question is. Once the, this indexing is complete, you will see like a green color. That means the code has indexed correctly. So as you can see, once the, this is indexed, you will see like a green color here and yeah that means your index is up to date and you just can minimize it if the 3072 dimension is not working just change this so this will be like a smaller size so if you are having issues play with this switch between these two and yeah if you see this green color that means you have your code indexed and it's ready for you to use now in order to show you like how this works so let's ask the same question what is this code all about when i asked it like how is this right click context menu updated then it's going through the search as you can see just want to let you guys know if you have not yet noticed this or if you want to use this powerful feature i hope this gave you some information on how to use this effectively and yeah moving forward i think this will help you with your coding uh, and if you found this video helpful please don't forget to share and subscribe for more future videos again thank you for watching and have a great day like share subscribe